painter's trick that um, some of you guys might not know, some of you guys might know, uh, but I'm going to tell you my spin on it anyway, just because uh, if you know it, maybe you don't know this, or maybe you tried it and it didn't work, and you might want to listen to the whole video just so you find out. So, uh, if you have a difficult substrate, like let's say you have a glossy painted surface, you have a raw aluminum, you have, you know, um, something that paint's not normally going to stick to. Maybe you've got like uh, glass or something like that, or you want to paint something that's really smooth, really slick, and and you just paint over it, and it'll nothing will stick. Regular primer is not going to stick. This is the product to use right here. Okay, uh, it doesn't stick to everything. Read the label behind it. Always do that. Um, it will tell you what it doesn't stick to, but most things like plastic and some of those items, it does. Now there's for certain plastics like wax plastic, it may not stick to. Um, if it's a paraffin based plastic, it nothing will stick to that. So um, keep that in mind. Um, and some of the, you know, uh, things like, you know, I, you can take a high gloss paint, you can go right over it with this product and it'll stick. Now, if you've had problems, and I'm gonna here's here's what the the most people do wrong with this product is they put it on too heavy. It is not meant to cover at all. You put it on, you put on a very very light coat. In fact, um, it's not even gonna cover in one coat. It's not gonna cover at all. All it is is just all you're doing is when you spray this product you spray it just to the point where the dots connect together you know you know thousands of dots come out of a spray can where the dots just kind of connect together there is no coverage it'll see through you'll see through it you'll see everything on the other side do not put two coats on put one coat now what people do is they put on too much of this then you go to put the other material over it and it's kind of sticky still and the new paint will wrinkle that's your fault you did it wrong put it on lighter you need to put this on very very light just to the point where you spray across and the dots touch each other that's it not uh, you're not trying to make it cover at all so if you uh, have something like that this difficult substrate um, you might want to try this product uh, they do have this in gallons um, but I'm not sure what other states have but uh, the stuff in California completely sucks it's in gallons um, I've had more problems with that uh, sticking to anything. They also have a water-based one, which that one might be better if you get that in the gallons. Like if you got a bunch of eaves, let's say you got a bunch of old eaves with oil base on them, you might want to try that product uh, in the water base and do a course like everything all the time. You do a test sample, you put some on there, you try to scratch it off one little area, try to scratch it off. And if it scratches off, then obviously it's not sticking. So you might have to do more prep. You might have to do something else. You know, try a few different things. Do a, do a sample, and then before you do the whole thing. Okay, so that's a product for you guys that want to try something. If you have a difficult substrate, give it a shot. Talk to you in the next video.